Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. I'd like to show you how to use alerts with Confluent Control Center. Now I'm using the Control Center demo we have up on GitHub. That's in Confluent Inc. slash CP demo. Now you can clone that repo. There's some instructions in there, but there's a whole separate video we have showing you how to get it set up. I recommend you go watch that video and follow along with the steps if you haven't already. That'll get you a cluster set up that you'll be able to do all of the things in this video fairly easily. It's all containerized and really nice to get going. Now, Control Center gives you lots of ways to view the state and activity of a cluster in a synchronous way. That is when you're sitting there in front of the browser tab and looking at things and clicking on them. But it can also asynchronously detect anomalous events in your cluster and take actions when they occur. This has Control Center working for you even when you're not looking at it. So let's go back to the streams monitoring view in Control Center. Uh, now, let me remind you of the demo environment. Uh, there's an IRC channel that has all of the edits in uh, Wikipedia, all of them total. We've got a Kafka Connect connector that's taking them, ingesting them into Kafka, some KSQL queries that are enriching that data, and then a Kafka Connect connector that's outputting it into Elasticsearch. Anytime I click on a graph, and right here, I'm looking at the consumer group associated with the sync connector in the demo environment. Uh, anytime I click on a graph, I get a button letting me set up an alert. And that is super handy. I can just click on the button, go to the alert setup and go. But let me not do that. First, let's look at the alerts I've got set up already. Now, these came from the setup shell script that I ran when setting up the demo environment. And that's in the video that describes how this whole system is set up. And this step is kind of like on a cooking show where you pull the mostly baked cake out of the oven to to ice it, sort of what's going on here. So the two triggers I've got set up are called under-replicated partitions and consumption difference. Under-replicated partitions happens when a broker reports a non-zero number of under-replicated partitions. This is important because replicas that aren't in sync, or we say aren't in the ISR list, if you know that term, are a bit of a risk. If all of your replicas are out of sync and you experience a failure in the lead broker, you will lose data and you don't want that to happen. So as it happens, that trigger is configured with an action to email someone when it fires. We want to know right away if we've got out of sync replicas. The second trigger called consumption difference happens if consumption difference for a given consumer group is non-zero. This means when the expected consumption for a consumer group is ahead or behind what was produced, that is, the consumer group is over-consuming or under-consuming, uh, then this alert will fire. Now, we have separate videos dealing with those specific problems, over-consumption and under-consumption. If you're interested, you should check those out. Now, let me actually break something so we can see these triggers in action. And instead of doing it from the terminal, I can make this happen from inside Control Center. Let's go over to Kafka Connect Management and click on the Sync connector. This is the connector that takes data out of the analyzed Wikipedia edit data and sends it into Elasticsearch. Now, I'm going to pause this connector. And the source connector, at the same time, is not paused. It's still plugging away, ingesting Wikipedia edits from IRC just as fast as Wikipedia edits can make them. KSQL is still doing its thing, enriching that data, but the sync connector is not consuming data anymore. So back in the streams monitoring view, we do expect the consumer group to show a delta. So let's look at connect Elasticsearch KSQL, that consumer group. There it is. You can already see that it's no longer consuming the messages that have been produced for this consumer group. There's the red bar showing our under consume. Looks like 15 messages were produced in this time frame, but only two were consumed before we paused the sync connector and the consumer group stopped consuming. Oh, and uh, what's that? Looks like, okay, my phone has pulled the email now. And so let's go to the alerts view here and see what's up. Sure enough, a few seconds ago, our consumption difference trigger fired. So there you have it, a simple but effective alerting system for your Confluent Enterprise cluster using Control Center.